I'm gonna show you guys how to find the most profitable keywords to target inside of your Google Ads for your business. A lot of times business owners who are trying to run ads for themselves on Google are targeting the wrong keywords, which is the reason why you're not profitable with your campaigns. A lot of times your, your keywords are too broad, you're getting a lot of irrelevant searches, you're getting calls from people who are outside of your area, inquire about different things, and just essentially at the end of the day, not making you any money. So in this video, I'm gonna go do an extensive deep dive on how to keyword research by using the keyword planner to help you guys find the best and most profitable keywords to target. So sit back, relax. So if you enjoy this video, drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So as you guys can see here on my screen, we are a Google Ads agency and we manage pretty much close to $12 million in ad spend now. Uh, we are right there at pretty much right there at 12 million. So if you guys ever need help with us setting up your Google ads campaign or even just managing it and things like that, feel free to schedule a call with me and my team. Okay. So I'm going to jump into my test Google ad account here, and this is what your uh, ad account should look like. I want to show you guys a very powerful tool where if you are trying to find the best keywords on Google, then I want to thank today's sponsored SEMrush. SEMrush helps you find the best keywords to target on Google while allowing you to see what keywords your competitors are bidding on. So this gives you an advantage strategy on seeing what keywords are already working. So this allows you to take out the guesswork. And so that way you don't have to target a bunch of irrelevant keywords that aren't going to be profitable for your campaign. SEMrush is going to help you find the best keywords to attract the type of customers that you want through your campaign. And so here's inside of what the dashboard looks like of SEMrush. As you can see here, there is a powerful tool you can basically find the best keywords to rank for on SEO there's also a ton of other options that you could use what we're going to use today is actually under the advertising category here if we look at the advertising dashboard as you guys can see here advertising research that SEMrush would do for you it'll review your main paid search competitors so what your competitors are using uh, what keywords they're bidding on uh, we can skip this this is more for Google shopping keyword gaps this is going to show you what keywords you are bidding on and then what you're not bidding on compared to your competitors so now you can uncover you know what keywords that you may be missing out on keyword magic tool you could build a robust keyword list from just one keyword so you give them a keyword and they will literally show you all the keywords that you can and should be bidding on okay so i'm not gonna go through all of it today we're gonna be using this tool right here called the keyword magic tool so we're gonna click on that and let's just say we are a plumbing company okay so i'm gonna search up plumber near me okay that is going to be our main keyword that we want to target so from there it's going to quickly populate all the keywords that you could be targeting. Okay. As you could see here, there's just a lot of keywords and we don't need to be targeting all of these. We just want to focus on the highest intent keywords. So my best option that I like to go with is under this category. I like to skip the informational. I like to skip the navigational, skip the commercial. And I only want to use keywords where people are searching up who are looking to purchase or hire our services. So in this case, we're going to go with transactional hit apply. And as you can see here these are going to be the highest intent keywords so we know that we target these type of keywords these are high intent keywords meaning people want to take some sort of action okay so for example if someone searches a plumber near me that means they have the intent to hire us so i would go through here and take a look at you know what it is that you are trying to advertise so for example like you're not going to be advertising supply if that's not what you do so supply supply store so those aren't keywords that you may not want to target but other keywords such as emergency plumber near me we know that if someone searches that up they have the intent to hire us okay uh, another cool metric right here is the keyword difficulty and it's going to show you how competitive it is out of 100 obviously the word plumber near me is going to be on the more competitive side because that's something that people are it's not only a high intent keyword but it's a simple keyword that anyone can just target right so maybe we could filter it by the least okay so 24 hours supply near me christian plumber near me so i mean there are searches for it, as you guys can see so this is zero uh, very easy but very specific so you might not get a lot of traffic from that but just go down here and you guys can start seeing you know how easy it is to rank you know start bidding on the less competitive keywords in order for you to be more profitable so this tool is really powerful you can see the volume as well of each keyword so start bidding on keywords that are that matches you guys right so whatever highest intent is for you guys and then 
depending on how competitive you guys are as well. So if you guys have a lower budget, then maybe not target a keyword difficulty, right? So I would kind of look at other keywords down the spectrum, right? So that is the tool SEMrush. It's a powerful tool. It's a very well-known tool that I can actually vouch for. Um, and it goes much further than just Google PPC. You can definitely use this for social media content, uh, content marketing, and it has a very powerful tool for SEO as well. So if you're into SEO and you're trying to rank your website and things like that, you can literally plug in your domain onto this SEO and this tool will come up with articles and keywords for you guys to help you guys rank your website. All right, so I'm back into my Google Ads account here and I'm gonna show you guys how to use the keyword planner inside of the ad account. So this is what it's going to look like inside your ad account for on the left-hand side, we wanna go to tools click on tools there and then under planning, you wanna click on keyword planner. So if you hover over it as well, it should pop up keyword planner. So we're gonna use that. Don't worry about the account for now. From here, we're gonna go ahead and click on get search volume and forecast. We can name it whatever we want. So let's just say, all right. So we're gonna put in car accident lawyer to find some keywords here. Okay, so from here, we're gonna click on keyword ideas and then we wanna change the location. So it doesn't matter where you guys are at, just go ahead and click whatever location that you guys are targeting. So in this case, let's target Los Angeles and we'll hit save. From here, we're going to type in the keyword that we want to do a little bit of research on, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna type in car accident lawyer, hit enter, and then from here, we're gonna get results, all right? So as you guys can see here, car accident lawyer is a popular keyword. It gets 5,400 average monthly searches, okay? And uh, that's a high search volume. A lot of people are searching for that. You guys can also see the graph of, you know, the, of how trending this keyword is as well. So from here, we can kind of see the search volume of it. And then the cool thing is that it, Google will also suggestions on what other keywords you could be targeting, right? So accident attorney, accident attorney near me. All these keywords are great. And over here, you guys can see the top of the page and of the low range and the top of the page bidding on the high range, okay? So what this number means, and don't let it scare you, I know it's a big number, but on your end, um, depending on what niche you're in, this cost per click could be a lot lower. It's just that the cost per click for accident lawyers are gonna be significantly higher, so I just wanted to use this as an example, okay? So what this means is that you're essentially gonna be paying anywhere between this number and this number, okay? So on the low range, if your campaign is set up the right way, your uh, relevant score is good, your quality score is good, and Google believes that your campaign is set up properly to be showing your ad to high uh, intent searches, then you're going to pay less. But let's say you are running your ads, maybe your campaign isn't set up the right way, and maybe you're running ads during like competitive business hours. There's a lot of fluctuations in the cost per click, uh, depending on a variety of things. Like I said, it could be down to your setup or it could be due to just how competitive your market is, okay? In Los Angeles at a specific time or even at a specific day. But you will be, can expect to pay anywhere between here to all the way up to $510, okay? Now, how do you decide, you know, how much you should be paying, okay? So with the bidding strategy, when you go inside of your Google Ads account, a lot of times Google is gonna try to have control of your campaign. And so they try to make you do some type of smart bidding strategy where they have control over your ads and controlling how much you're spending per click. And you don't really want that to happen because Google is a business and just, you know, like any other businesses, Google is actually one of the most profitable businesses in the world. And if you give them control of your ads, that means that their goal is to get their advertisers to spend the most on their platforms. And so when you give them this control, you're essentially paying much more than needed, okay? Now, unless you have a lot of data, you have a lot of data, you've been running your ads for a while, your algorithm is good, then that's when you can switch over to smart bidding strategy um, because you're able to tell Google, hey, I have data and I want to get leads for this price. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, that just means that you're not there yet, okay? So you need to gather, collect data, run ads for a while before you're even able to do that. For us, when we run bidding strategies for our clients, we focus on manual CPC, which means manual cost per click. And what that means is that we have total control on how much we're spending per click through our Google ads, okay? So we can tell Google, hey, I don't want to spend more than $150 per click, okay? And we can set it at that level. But if you're doing a smart bidding strategy, that means you're telling Google, hey, do the bidding for me. And so Google sometimes, they could charge, you know, 129, but sometimes they could charge you $400, okay? And you're just telling Google, hey, do you and just 
do the bidding for me. Okay. And so, so sometimes what happens then is that you may be overspending and overpaying for leads and clicks and things like that. So that's kind of like the downside of the smart bidding strategy. And if you're just starting out, I don't recommend you giving Google the, you know, get control over how much you're spending per click. So as you guys can see here, compared to SEMrush, like this doesn't tell you what, you know, the, which keywords are going to be high intent. You know, for example, like if someone searches up like, auto lawyers, this is going to be very broad. Okay. So you're, you might get a lot of searches who are, people are just searching for general information. Okay. So this, it doesn't really tell us which keywords are high intent. It does tell us the competition level. So we can base off competition level as in the higher, the more competitive it is, then probably the more high intent it is, right? But if someone searches up best accident lawyers, it could be also informational purposes. If you're in doubt and you don't know which keywords to target, the ones that put near me at the end are usually going to be your highest intent keywords, okay? So auto accident lawyers near me, that's you know, if someone searches that up, they have a pretty high intent on looking for an accident lawyer right away. Okay, so car property, let's go back to the plumber. Let's go back to the plumber example here. So as you can see there, we went from car accident lawyer to plumber near me. As you can see, the cost per click has changed drastically. It went from $120 to $500 to now just between $25 and $85. Now plumber near me is a much more competitive keyword just because the search volume for this specific keyword is so high. So, you know, that's why it's gonna be a little bit more competitive. Now, again, you're gonna be paying anywhere between $25 and $85. Now, you might be asking, Jordan, how much, what should I set my manual cost per click to be, okay? Now, it depends on how aggressive you wanna be. I like to pick a number, obviously, it has to be between $25 and $84 in order for your ads to show, right? If you're under $25, let's say you're bidding only uh, $12, right? Chances are your ads aren't gonna show as often, you're not gonna get any impressions, you're not gonna get any clicks, and you're not gonna get any phone calls, okay? So we need to bid aggressive enough to where we're actually getting phone calls, but we don't wanna be overbidding and overpaying for leads, okay? So what I normally like to do is, depending on how aggressive we wanna be, we can start bidding more close to this number if we wanna be on, on the more aggressive side and get our ads to show up higher and more often. However, we're, we're gonna be willing to pay a little bit more for that. But if we wanna be a little bit more conservative and let's say we have a smaller budget, we can't, we, we can't really just run through our budget too quickly, then I would bid closer to this number here. Okay, so it depends on how aggressive you guys wanna be. Um, you guys can always start off low and then work your way up by increasing it slowly if you're not seeing enough you know, traffic. If you start high then you're, and if you're seeing too much traffic or maybe you're running through your budget too quickly, then we can start lowering our manual, our, our bidding strategy on the keywords, okay? So I would go through here and look at all the keywords that we could be targeting. Uh, emergency plumber near me, these are great keywords. Any keywords with near me in it are usually gonna be good. For, but for example, if someone searches up cheap plumbers near me, you might not wanna show up for that, okay? You might not be the cheapest company or whatever the case is, then you may not want to be targeting this keyword. But let's say you have a special offer, you are the lowest price or most competitive price in your city, then this might be a good keyword for you to consider targeting. Because as you can see here, the search volume is definitely there and then the cost per click is also low than uh, the main keyword as you can see here okay so we can search we can go down here plumbers in my area you don't have to grab a lot of keywords you don't need to be targeting 20 to 50 keywords you need really just about I'd say 10 keywords that are your most high intent you know that if someone searches up this keyword then they are very likely to call you okay so start off by targeting those uh, highest intent keywords first and then if you still need data and things like that that's when you can start adding on more keywords but in the beginning we want to start off with our highest intent keywords so put yourself in your customer's shoes and figure out what it is that they would search up on Google if they want to call a plumber not just look for informational purposes if you're targeting just the word plumber and this can go towards like any niche right electricians or electric company it may just be too broad if you're targeting just that keyword it's just too broad you can get a lot of irrelevant uh, clicks, a lot of irrelevant searches, just because those keywords aren't high intent enough. And that goes back to saying, if you just have the word near me in it, it automatically adds intent to the search query, right? But obviously those near me keywords is gonna be a little bit more competitive, but it's worth paying that because you're getting the highest quality traffic and you're not burning your money through, uh, you know, the cheaper, low quality type keywords, okay?
So start off with like your best 10 to 12, maybe 15, but you don't really need to be targeting any much more than that. And then just let your ads run from there, give it some time, get some data, then you can start seeing which keywords are producing you leads, which keywords aren't doing much conversions for you guys. And then just go ahead and pause out whatever keywords aren't producing conversions or if the cost per lead is just too high. Okay, so let's say you have 10 keywords and five of those keywords are producing conversions, okay? And out of those five keywords, Words, maybe three of those keywords have a really low conversion rate so then we would pause those ones out and then maybe one of those keywords the cost per lead is just like extremely high so we would just pause that out right so then keep your key best keywords the ones that have high conversion rate the ones have the lowest cost per lead and keep those keywords on so it's really basic once you start getting data leave those keywords or leave whatever it's working on and turn off whatever's not working. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my video. This is exactly how you do keyword research and keyword planning along with the SEMrush to find the most profitable keywords to target for your Google ads. So if you guys are interested in trying SEMrush for yourself, there's gonna be a link in the description below. If you click my special link, you're gonna get a 14 day free trial. Yo.